Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to ATS Onops. The episode we've all been waiting for is here. Finally time to give our rusty Mac R a uh, an overhaul, a do-over. No longer going to be named Rusty at the end of the day. So I went ahead and did some pre-work. You can see the paint job is a bit shinier. I did as much as I could to buff everything out, but of course the corroded and rusty parts will remain rusty. The trailer though actually improved a bit when I cleaned it up thoroughly. It's actually not bad, right? So I think we saved a bit there. We don't need the whole repaint for the trailer. But yes, the truck we cannot get away with. So let's go and get started. Now I was also thinking of... Um, going to a sleeper right so i activated dealing's uh, sleeper variant the ideal thing is probably get the sleeper right here something like that or maybe a bigger cab even it's a bit expensive though and i noticed it actually doesn't have as much paint options as i oh this one actually does hey that is tempting yeah because you guys have been voting i was collating the comments and although there are there have been votes for retro strips uh special stripes rather uh mac multi r red velvet and road warrior it has been pretty unanimous in terms of number of votes value liner is the clear winner and then I've been tinkering with the colors here. And I think I have an idea of what to, what to make. Although this sleeper variant, I'm not so sure. Because if you look at this one, total to pay is already 33k. So uh, we don't have much to work with at all. So I think the sleeper variant, I'll uh, leave for now. Let's reset everything, right? Go back to our rusty setup. Let's keep it a day cab. Uh, the, the sleeper let's save up for for another day but for now let's keep it like this oh how about picking a bigger wheelbase for that longer uh, uh let's let's do that together with the the sleeper because the chassis will get longer when we make it into a sleeper for now let's stick with that and what i'd like to do is actually upgrade to a z mod engine because there recently was an update with Zmod's uh, engine sound pack. It's now version 2.0. It's now, I think, what he calls it Gen 3. So there was an upgrade in the quality of the audio. So I wanted to switch to that. I've been hearing good um, ideas about it as well, good remarks. So let's go and upgrade. That will be a, an upgrade to the horsepower and the torque as well. So we should experience a better performance for the truck. That's 14k right there. And then let's hear how it sounds. If we like it, if we don't, we can always switch back. Okay, but for now, keep it there. Alan, happily sleeping. I think he approves of this uh, upgrade decision. And yes, what won, hands down, unanimously was the value liner. And yeah, I, there's just something about... Now I'm actually having doubts about getting a sleeper eventually. You guys will have to chime in if you like that. Because I, I was not such a huge fan of that huge like box here at the back. It kind of looks more like a Mac R this way, right? So yes, I won't stick with these colors, but definitely the paint job. So this guy, I think what I eventually decided was getting this blue one. Of course, it's going to be some combination of black, blue, and white kind of thing because, I mean, those are my colors. And then this black one or gray one will remain. This red one will be white, uh, something like that. And then the orange will be something in between these two. Yeah, so if you look at the colors there somewhere, it will be... Get that over here. Oh, no. Something like that. Get that in between the two. So something like this is going to be how it is. Well, basically, I, I saved the, the palette already. So it's going to be like that. Yeah, almost the same. And that just highlights the, the Mack truck um, logo in there. Very iconic. And if I revert everything. 
or at least the paint job. Can I remove the paint job? If I go back to the old one from a fully rusty Mac R, it's given a new life thanks to our truck shop right here in Spokane. And they gave me a nice deal for it. So yes, that's uh, that's part of this overhaul. Okay, looking good. Now, um, Tyler also recommended some items. So he was the one, he was one of the voters of the value liner and I really like that idea. And then he mentioned about Chrome stuff, although I'm not so sure about the Chrome stuff. I tried it out, I'm not so sold on it. It looks a bit too shiny for this truck. Let me know what you think, we can always switch back later. Let me show you. Round Chrome, yeah, these guys. I'm not so sure, it kind of fits, but it's a bit too shiny, the Chrome is a bit too shiny. So what I'll do is I'll go to a chrome painted for now. Heavy or that one I think looks nice. And then this one will switch to paint as well. And also of course we'll change the wheels and Tyler also suggested some wheels. I think you call it Trilex. I think that's the brand. It's very nice, very perfect for classic trucks. This one. And this is done by Overfloater, the same guy who did the K100 truck. So you look at how cool that looks, right? Now I have two options for this one. That one is the guess, simpler version, right? A Goodyear tire there. So that looks pretty simple, pretty classy, right? Nothing uh, extravagant, but there is a more flashier version. If I change the colors here to that blue and this Goodyear to that blue, that actually kind of looks pretty cool. I don't know. What do you guys think? Prefer the white or the blue? Let me know in the comments. But I'll do this pattern for all, and I'll keep it for now, and then we can switch it out later. The guys here um, over this truck shop in Spokane have been telling me there's like a, a seven day um, guarantee. I can go back and um, they'll repaint. They'll allow us to test drive and repaint as needed. So no extra charge, hopefully they'll keep their word but yeah we can have it like this right <clears throat> to, to stay on point with the colors so it's either this blue or the white version is this one and then this one i guess like that or you can make it like that maybe something along those lines that looks more realistic for day to day this looks more flashy more uh pimped up yeah, so I'm not so sure which one. But we'll go with that for now. <clears throat> and I think everything else will keep the painted version for now. You guys let me know if you like the chrome parts, right? Like that. So if I change this again, this whole new painted version now. No more rusty parts here. If I change to the chromey bits, we can have it look like that. I'm not so sure. I'm still not so sure. Looks a bit too shiny. Somewhere in the middle of those painted and uh, like fully matte and fully chrome would probably be nice. How about that one? Instead of painted. That can work with me. That guy. But there is no... Oh, that one maybe. But it's not the same tone. Yeah. I'll just keep it painted. Okay. And then the stacks. Can we change the stacks maybe? Oh yeah, we can, but that's going to be a bit more expensive, just a tad, not too flashy. Ah, and if we choose to go with chrome parts, we can actually pick one of these as well. Yeah, that might be the advantage. Huh? For now, I'll just stick to stock, right? And this one will keep painted. And yes, say goodbye to Rusty. We now have blue. <laughs> Maybe that's the name. Okay. Alright, good. In the interior, nothing much to be changed. The truck screen has grown on me, so we'll keep it. Uh, what I could do is move it more to the right. I was thinking about that, I think. Right? Uh, so, tablet truck info, if I move that to the right most, like so. So, in a daily... Um, in a normal view, it you can't see it, but if I really want some info, I can look to the right 
and then I'll see it so it will not interfere with the view I think that's good still don't have space here in the interior unfortunately so you guys let me know what your feelings are towards the sleeper um, I don't want to change it now because it will look weird so yes just let me know about the tires blue or white okay and then sleeper or not good I think that's good hopefully we can still go for a test drive if we have some time yeah just a small one and then over here in the trailer we don't have enough money we have 6k left um, so we don't have enough for a paint job, but what we can do is just remove the rusty parts, replace them with the Trilex variants. And here, we have kind of two options for the Trilex uh, variant 1 or 2. Just changes that inner lining to have black in there. But uh, I think we'll keep it this way, and this one will just keep it, um, keep it white. Yeah, fuel max. Just maybe add that grayish vibe there just a little bit so it stands out just a tad and that's it do we have enough money oh barely oh my goodness yeah talk about emergency funds yeah that might be a bit tricky so we'll have to be very careful about oncoming traffic we don't even have enough for a side skirt oh, i would have wanted a side skirt okay go for it okay so now we have a fully oh my goodness yeah that looks so different oh the trailer doesn't fit quite well though huh the trailer would have to be a bit more black for this theme not so sure and the blue one on the tires maybe white does look better i'm not sure but you guys let me know let me let's go for a test drive and see how we like it no more rusty vibes here. Oh, and the sounds, definitely. I want to check out the sounds. Ooh, we have them dynamites again. But the pickup point is so far. I think I'd like to go to Idaho. Just go southbound here. Yeah, cross over to Idaho. That's a pretty short one. Price per distance. That looks pretty good. Toys. Yeah, let's go for that one. Pays very well. The blinds is actually pay very good, but that's too short. So this one pays 20k. Let's finish that and let's get some more money for the upgrade. Okay. I'm not sure how much we can do this episode. That means I'll do two or three parts of this one. Oh. Oh yeah, this is with the Z mod sounds now. Might have to adjust the volume as well. Zmod likes it maxed normally. All of the truck sounds and the truck noise as well, I think. Let's maybe put that like that, right? Interior sounds too. Okay, let's see how we like it. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, let's start it up again. Very crisp. Very bassy. Ooh. And the interior has that muffled vibe. It does sound a bit too loud though. But my goodness, that booms. Oh, wow. And then the truck info. Yeah, it's almost out of the, our periphery. So it shouldn't be that much of a bother. All right, let's pick up the job here. You guys let me know if it gets too loud, okay? And you let me know how you prefer the sounds. If you are okay with this, or if you'd like to switch back to Krishbom sounds. Because I mean, in terms of crispness, my goodness, this is super crisp. But in terms of how close it sounds to our uh, Mac R that people are, are familiar with, maybe not as much. Then again, I wouldn't know much about how a real Mac R sounds. So you be the judge of that, okay? Is it too loud? Maybe. My goodness. 
That doesn't look half bad though, doesn't it? Does it? Get a better look once it gets lighter. Man, that looks great. Yeah, it's just that the trailer doesn't fit very well. But yeah, the Trilex wheels, I'm absolutely in love with it. It's amazing. Oh, I missed the... Uh, I missed the stoplight. But that's better than going through the red light. At least we don't get the penalty this way. Yeah, I might end up going with the white wheels. The blue ones, um, I think they might be a tad over the top. I think it's more for like a, a show truck maybe. Although... It's hard to decide because it just looks so good. Yeah. At the back, trailer wheels. Not bad at all. Uh, but yes. So we, we've given the Mac the honor it deserves. After we've uh, gone over and paid off our debts in full. Deserves a bit of a reward, doesn't it? Sound. Where are we going? Okay, it's very pretty near. Like outside the city, but actually pretty close. Ooh. In a way, this kind of fits too. Because, um, we can say that we fully customized our truck. So much so that the customization includes the engine. What happened to that car? So it's uh, it's not a stock. It's not a stock Mac R anymore. It's a fully customized, fully pimped up Mac R. So the engine is part of that, right? It's not the the stock sounds you would hear. Oh my goodness. was intense. Are there three stages of Jake Break as well? Maybe. I like this angle. This angle, the, the tablet doesn't actually get in the way anymore. You hardly see it. But then when we need it, I can easily look. Oh, it's uh, almost 9 a.m. Very nice. Small incremental upgrades. And we're slowly getting to where we want to be. Man, feels good though. Definitely feels more powerful, definitely sounds more powerful. And yeah, no rusty part in sight. Keddy approves. Yeah, Keddy approves. Go. Let's see. 29 pounds, 29,000 pounds of toys. I'll take that, thank you very much. Should be loading over here. Now, which direction though? This is the problem with the, these cones. I'm not sure which direction we should be facing, but I guess it only makes sense that I face this way. The other way doesn't make sense at all. So yes, let me know in your comments guys, you like something changed in the paint job, as always it's a community effort, right? You guys have been telling me lots of inputs, we chose the paint job together, we chose the truck together, now help me out and see if the, uh, the, the wheels, the colors of the wheels start liking. Let's open the windows here. I hope I don't hit that side because I do seem to be a bit too much close to there. We want to scratch this new paint job. Okay. That looks good. All good. On that side. Not going to hit anything there, I think. 
looking good. It's a bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping to get the sleeper cabin, but it's a bit too pricey. So yes, we'll put that as a different item. Is that good? Yeah, that's green. Nice. Now we can see the truck better. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Good. Alright, let's get this loaded up. Catch you guys in a bit. I wonder how they load it up if the back of the trailer is right next to that crate. But then again, that's their problem. It looks like they managed it, so everybody happy. Good. Man, that is crisp. So nice, the sounds. Good. Alright, let's get going. Go to Idaho. Let's have a look at the manifest before we start. 518 miles. Going to catch them. Eddies. In in specifically. Alright, and in terms of the route, well, there is a couple of... There are a couple of areas we can go to. Hmm, and I think we'll need to stop somewhere here. Probably in Lewiston. We can probably stop there and then continue next episode. That's going to be 138 miles. I think that's good enough, right? For a test drive. Yeah, because we're 20 minutes in already. So it might be a longer episode than usual. And then we'll continue the next leg on the next trip. That probably means we'll keep this set up until the end of the trip. And then we'll find a mechanic nearby and then we'll see what kind of adjustments we need to do. But now even the Google GPS colors match with the truck colors outside. I like it. I hope I didn't miss a dot, miss a spot. I like that bassy sound when the engine is kind of complaining that the revs are too low. There you go. But yeah. The truck feels so much smoother. It feels brand new, actually. No rust in sight and uh, yeah, no, no, no clogging. Everything, even the engine is new. My goodness. No complaints here. I was thinking initially of switching to a different truck, right? But now I'm not craving for it so much anymore. Because my goodness, this is an amazing setup. Very nice change. Oh, was that a turbo whistle? Yeah, there one. Nice turbo whistle there. Don't go red, don't go red. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, that whistle. Might be a tad loud though. Let's uh, adjust the volume just a bit. One second, let me adjust that. Maybe lower it down here. Because he did recommend it maxed, but maybe interior sounds are a tad too loud. And then the overall things, maybe we can... You know what, let's just lower that a bit, like so. I know normally he would recommend it max, but in terms of still hearing me, I think we need to tone it down just a notch, like so. That's probably a better balance, just a tad. Let me know if that sounds okay. There we go. 35 here. Now the real question is... How fast can this truck go now? Because before we were limited to around 60 miles per hour maximum. We did upgrade the engine a bit, but the transmission remained the same. And I'm not familiar enough with the how it works, guys. If I upgraded the engine, but I kept the transmission, does that mean I get a better top speed too? If I improve my engine's horsepower? I get confused with that thing. So I hope so. 
perfect i'm not sure we'll test it out here but if, if you guys have inputs about that kind of thing let me know in the comments okay as always continuously learning about these things oh let's go there we go later on we'll test if the jake brake has multiple stages as well I like hearing that turbo whistle though so that means I need to rev way past 1500 because that's when the turbo whistle seems to start and uh, that might cost us a bit of fuel economy though we'll see I still have to get used to the, the power range the power band at which revs the engine would produce the most power I haven't gotten quite a feel for it yet feels good overall but yes there's that like sweet spot where you have to shift based on the engine sound based on the power oh my goodness we have been always at the edge have you guys noticed of that red light we're like one second away from getting a penalty. But so far we've been avoiding it thankfully. There we go. Fifth gear. When you're in these uphills, you have to rev higher. Sounds good. I don't know about you guys, but yes, I'm really liking the sounds. It sounds very different from Mac RV we've been driving before. Sounds like a totally different beast. But yeah, it does seem like we are going to end up in the same top speed. So maybe that means I need to change the transmission. Because the final gear is still uh, set up for that same, same revs. I'm not sure. Oh, it got me all confused now. Looks like we only have one level of Jake break unless I did not set it up well. Yeah, this might not have a multi-level multi jake break. With the map, maybe it's only a single level in reality. Turn that off. Feels good though. Really feels good. Or the Alin. Welcome to Idaho guys. We were right at the border a while ago. And they forgot to welcome you, so belated welcome. Oh my goodness, this looks great. And for those who are wondering about the roads, why the roads don't have snow. One second that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there are multiple levels of the jake actually i don't think it's even a jake break here in this engine might be just an engine break sure sounds like a jake break though but yeah this is where i really need your inputs guys the technical side of things the under the hood things which i'm not really familiar with So as always, this community and the effort is going to be amazing. We can learn from each other and you can correct my mistakes <laughs> and misconceptions. Good. Bridge? Well, everyone knows by now, if you've been in the channel for quite some time, you'll know that this is going to be the thumbnail shot. Show. 
good. Man, even I, I didn't notice it, but even the the color of the dashboard fits with this truck color scheme now. The black, blue, and the white kind of colors fits perfectly here. And then we just have this like wooden panel just to add a bit of accent so it doesn't sound too it doesn't look too monotonous just the right balance of uh, colors there i think let's have a look outside i don't often look outside in the exterior view but because of this paint new paint job let's let's try it before we get to that bend oh look at that view very nice yeah definitely it's liking that one no more rusty part in sight very cool that being said i'm still slow as molasses <laughs> uh, yeah it looks like the speed overall is the same like i don't need to worry about the slow down areas so much the bends when they're they recommend the speed I'm usually way below that anyway, so it's not much of a concern for me. Really like it. So yes, I hope you guys are okay with the sounds. If not, let me know. We have different levels of adjustment as before, like we can lower it like this, like that. This one might be better for commentaries, right? It won't make you hear the sounds so much though. So it will normally be like this is the normal level. Here 45. Oh, we actually have to slow down. How crispy is that engine brake? Oh my goodness, that was nice. So yes, I hope you like the sounds. Because I think we'll be keeping it. <laughs> Some of you for sure will complain. That it doesn't sound like a Mac R. But yes, now we actually have justification for it not to sound like a stock Mac R because it's not stock anymore. It is fully customized now. So we have full authority on making it sound really customized. I like that excuse. What is this on the right side? Oh, I wish I would have seen it. That might have been a viewpoint, huh? One second. Oh, that was a different road altogether, I think. Yeah, where does that go? Oh, that was a viewpoint. Hey! Should have gone there. Can I go through here? There's like a secret road here. That might be for... That looks more like a trail for people than for vehicles, huh? Yeah, that is a viewpoint. That got unlocked. Oh, I, we should have stopped there instead. My bad. That's okay. That's okay. Because we have already an amazing view right here. This is the viewpoint in itself. <laughs> good excuse. Yeah, good excuse. I'll take it. Oh my goodness, that's... Yeah. Still exciting. We still have to shift properly, float gears properly because it does not have the most powerful engine we got a bit of an upgrade at that of an upgrade but it is still pretty weak in comparison to modern engines and yes 30,000 pounds of toys will make you really struggle on these uh, gradients 12 noon now sun is fully up weather is good no snowstorm in sight but we'll see we will see keeping my fingers crossed that the weather holds although oftentimes I'm not sure if you guys have that too like if you like go to the car wash or get a new car when you go out as soon as you get out of the garage it rains so hard out of nowhere it's kind of the universe trying to make a joke out of you 
so we always just end up trying to think about it that oh it's a blessing yeah it's the the rain is the blessing if you know how how this like in baptism you get baptized you get uh, thrown with water so it's just the same with a truck with a car so if it does go if it does snow then we'll just take it as a blessing if it doesn't then it's a blessing all the same that's a good way of looking at life i think either way all good yeah the snow seems a bit thin here you can actually see a bit of the grass peeking through so that might be a good sign what not might be a good sign is this way station up here uh one second okay see what it will tell us oh yeah the fortune favors us today green okay we can pass the way station thank you good not too shabby i hope i didn't skip through my stop yeah lewiston is right around the corner i think okay so i am in eight gear now eight high and we are almost uh, there the engine is starting to struggle starting to scream and yeah it's roughly the same speed basically although it was not really a significant bump in horsepower so i guess it kind of makes sense let's see if this downhill helps us a bit with the speed top speed here is 60 anyway so it's not really a problem but then again 35? Really? Okay. Get that engine braking goodness in there. 35 it says. So let's follow that. Yeah, probably because it's downhill. And uh, it can get dangerous if the brakes don't work. Runaway truck ramp. There's even a runaway truck ramp. So if, if your brakes fail, you can go through that ramp. Sorry guys, I know that's loud. But we needed it to slow down significantly. There you go. Nice. I think we're good there. Did you guys see that runaway truck ramp? I think I missed it. Oh no, that's the one. There's the runaway truck ramp, uh, which we should not use. Should actually move to the left here, my bad. I think, yeah, based on the stop there. There you go. So the runaway truck ramp is... Oh, I still missed it. Maybe because of the snow, it's a bit blended. Didn't actually see it. I do like this bend in the highway though. Very nice. Very gentle bend, as long as you stay within the recommended speed limits and my goodness the new tires that we've gotten the new wheels and everything suspension the works makes the truck so smooth oh my goodness it feels so new before i always was kind of worried that the truck might fall apart at any moment sometimes it just wouldn't start it had all the sicknesses today nothing more of that type yeah nothing more no worries all good oh my goodness okay let's stop here guys and we'll continue in the next episode i'll just find a nice parking area i do i did find is that a truck shop i saw not so sure one second there are a couple of truck stops there how's our fuel our fuel is not very good oh crap yeah let me see let's have a look at the let's use this one we have 159 miles left so i don't think the fuel will make it but the problem is we don't have money <laughs> crap we might have to overdraft a bit or we can take a very cheap loan and then pay it off right after the job that's also possible looks like there's also a truck shop here so i can go and change so instead of the blue i can change to the white so you guys can see both sides both the uh, setups at work and then we can we can continue next episode and see which one we like better okay so i'll, I'll do that i'll take you with me as we do that upgrade and change it so you guys have both um, 
both versions and then you can decide and help me decide which one will go with eventually i hope the warranty the guarantee or whatever they call it the seven day free tuning for the colors i hope it's also valid here we will see if not then um, we'll worry about that later okay let's just let's just stop here and see yes in the middle of the shop why not we're the vip today okay but yes i should not forget to read you okay looking good ah crispy sounds my goodness right hope you guys enjoyed that surely did i surely did so nice to see the mac giving given its proper uh due no rusty part inside who welcome blue goodbye rusty welcome blue <laughs> okay all right guys so catch in the next part i'll uh, take you with me over at the config for the white parts then on the tires all right thanks for watching have a nice day clumsy trucking and catch you in the next one bye bye Thank you.